more call. This will be the final call of the day. Calling from a 608 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hey, this is Lucas. Hi, I'm how's it going? I'm Lucas. from Minneapolis. Uh, you are the final caller of the day. What's on your mind? Oh, man, we stepped into it today. Uh, I wanted to talk about the dog stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, preface, I'll, I'll preface everything with the fact that I, I don't know, left this pescatarian and dog owner, but I work in med device development, which is a problematic industry of its own, mm. similar to pharma. But it has a place. The Fetterman's got a pacemaker. That's like an important development. And the interesting thing about, well, I mean, Oz is trash, and I have no, I have no context around the uh, labs he runs or how any of that works. But the FDA mandates all development of devices to go through statistically relevant uh, test sizes. So 30 on average, new devices that go on the market when they go into discovery, they have to go through 30 animal tests to confirm that they work. And limited number of animals or types of animals can be used for that test. So uh. for anything regarding electrical, so pacemakers, um, defibrillators, or ablation, you have to go use a dog is the only accepted surrogate at that time. I had a feeling that so the Jezebel me, thing was a little like... I, Jezebel, he, he, it's just, there's a little, it, it, sometimes they leave out context on in, on purpose, I feel like. But there was part yeah, of it that, it, that I mean, reports, uh, sorry to interrupt you, caller, but there was one part I think that they did yeah. indicate that in, in some of the internal investigation for some of the Columbia studies that he may, that the, the proprietors of the study may have been in violation of the Animal Welfare Act. So, right? I, yeah. I, I think that and might be the biggest point of, point of like, you know, the actual yeah. sticking point is that I, I, I take your point in the sense that that's probably, like you said, that that is, they, you know, the, what they are actually required to, you know, test these things on. But I think just, like, I think the, the law violation, I'm sure they just like, you know, oh, we killed hundreds of puppies is pretty sensationalist to begin with. But I feel like that's yeah. probably the real crux there is the right. Animal Welfare Act violations, potentially. Yeah, and it is, uh, well, which is interesting, too, because, like, I think our industry has a real problem where it's, you want to control the the conditions for these test subjects so that it's highly, con like, continuous and stuff, and, like, literally some of the requirements are, like, the cell they're in has to be this size, it has, to, well, once they're implanted, like, usually they're out on the farm beforehand, but then, like, they have to uh, have this many toys, they have to eat this type of food, like, it's, it's a lab, right? They're controlling on these fronts. And, uh, it, I mean, it's unfortunate, too. I wish there were alternatives, right? But it's like nobody's going to accept a med device that hasn't been tested on a living organism to be tried in a human. Right? right. So it's like, how do you, it's a moral, it's a moral problem and really hard to, like, figure out. But at the same time, like, it's the, uh, and I know, like, every animal lab that ever runs these types of studies runs into the problems of hitting those, or, like, uh, skirting the boundaries on that stuff because the customers that, like, honestly, like the big companies like Medtronic, Boston Scientific, these huge med device conglomerates push them to make it as concise and repeatable as possible, which means that there's no, uh, like, they, yeah, it's a capitalist issue as everything is, but, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, wanted to provide some context. And, I appreciate it. I mean, on a, in, yeah, it's, uh, it's weird because it used to be, like, chimpanzees and all sorts of other weird animals that you would use and and it's kind of how do you how do you ethically choose which animals are worth testing on it's a weird weird paradigm to work with right right all right um well i i appreciate that that extra context i mean what is it like uh working with um <laughs> working in the medical device industry uh, fascinating. Um, it's, uh, I, I mean, I enjoy it. I specialize in like heart valve and frame development for trans catheter devices. So it's a very weird niche I've found myself in as an engineer, but the, uh, um, yeah, it has its parallels to, you know, there, there are days. It's, it's funny how, how often we tell ourselves in this industry that it's, um, you know, for the benefit of the patient, we make people healthier and blah, blah, blah. But a lot of times it's, uh, you know, the, the background is you're profiting off of people's precarity in life. Um, and kind of, you know, interesting point comparing today with the interview, it's it's hard to, like, understate, like, how uh, 
our system generates health outcomes that require these devices. Um, it makes it a lot more common. And how like diabetes is actually one of the you know, med devices that treat the heart when people go into heart failure. Diabetes is one of the most growing industries to and bring these things forward. It's like, you know, good, uh, you know, guaranteed healthy food and less stress in our lives would cause a lot of the stuff that we have to design to go away. So it's kind of a, um, I don't know, double-edged sword, but on some days, you know, you get to uh, develop things that go into people and actually, for no fault of their own, you get to get somewhere. But I imagine it's what most, uh, you know, pharmaceutical development companies, techs <laughs> feel is, uh, uh, you know, it's a interesting and exploitative industry like anything else. But right. one of those, if we did it the right way, it'd be it'd be wonderful to have it like function right in academia or something like that. Well, thanks, Lucas. I really appreciate the context that you provided. Uh, thanks for calling in. No problem. Have um, a good one. You guys you are too. awesome. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. Bye.